Hey everyone, my name is Alessandro Zanatti and I'm a collaborator here at Micromobility Industries. First, welcome to Micromobility World. Last year in the first run of this virtual conference, we had amazing conversations with individuals from all around the industry talking about the future of urban transportation and even the potential of incorporating micromobility in a world championship racing series. So whether you're joining us from the sun or you're snowed in like here in Boston in the Northeast, we're so happy that you decided to join us and we can't wait to share with you all the amazing conversations we have lined up. I'm here to reveal the latest iteration of our industry defining micromobility landscape. But for those of you who are new to it, the micromobility landscape is an organized visual and database that identifies the key products and services offered and then categorizes the companies involved. Since we launched it in 2019 in Berlin, we've grown the landscape from 100 companies to today, more than 800 companies categorized. But before that, I wanted to touch upon a delivery model that's becoming hard to ignore. Over the past year, we've seen explosive growth in funding for instant commerce platforms. Their promise is to deliver the staples of your supermarket hall to your doorstep in 15 minutes or less. But how do they do this? Well, looking a bit deeper, we can identify three key components that stand out. First is their network of delivery only, low footprint micro fulfillment centers scattered throughout the city. By leveraging a single pickup point, they can batch multiple orders, dispatch them efficiently to e-bike couriers and ultimately shorten delivery windows. Second is their ownership of the product inventory, giving them real time visibility into what's available and keeping orders flowing. Third, and perhaps most exciting, is the centrality of micromobility vehicles, such as e-bikes and e-mopeds, in the distribution strategy. Ultimately, winning on speed and delivering on the promise of 15-minute deliveries is only possible through the adoption of micromobility. And instant commerce platforms are waking up to the thesis that we must right-size what's being moved with how it's being moved. And delivery vans simply don't cut it. 80% of the time, they're idle or parked, and the remaining 20% of the time when they're moving, they're mostly spent searching for parking, circling around the block. Instant commerce is doing to goods movement what micro did to people movement. And although the space is going through a bit of a validation period, and it remains to be seen whether they can profitably cover the high fixed costs, this is an exciting example of how micro mobility can really unlock more sustainable approaches to urban delivery. And all of this is why I'm super proud and excited to release the latest update of our micromobility landscape. And it reflects really the incredible growth we've seen in on-demand services and instant commerce over the past year. We've added over 80 companies and brought our total to around 825 companies. I'd like to highlight a few changes we've made. First is the creation of our instant commerce category under on-demand. It includes the usual suspects along with more regional players such as Zap and Zepto. Second, we've shifted subscription under manufacturing and retail, and this is acknowledging the fact that subscription is becoming a really compelling pathway to ownership. And third, we've recognized the contribution of ride hail services in reducing our car dependency and allowed it to exist under a new a renamed category called shared mobility, formerly shared micromobility. Micromobility is an enabler that only succeeds in collaboration with and as a complement to existing ways of moving, such as using the car or with public transit. And my sincere hope is that this landscape is a catalyst for collaboration and communication among builders within the industry that really want to move toward a similar future. And in that spirit, I'd love to connect with as many of you as possible. So please don't uh, hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn or follow me on Twitter at ADZenati. With that, thanks for listening and uh, enjoy the rest of the day's programming happening throughout the platform.